nine. So it's the Mark Pilgrim Show on a Thursday morning. I think you probably do remember what you were doing on the uh, 31st of August, 1997. Because it was 20 years ago today that the world woke up to the news that Diana, Princess of Wales, was dead. She passed away. She had that car crash in a car tunnel in Paris, 31st of August, back in 97. The accident also resulted in the deaths of a companion, Dodi Fayed, and the driver, Henri Paul. I remember actually being on radio that Sunday morning. I was doing weekend breakfast on 5FM where we started getting the news on CNN and had to break it to uh, the audience that was listening to my show that morning with many people sending me messages saying, how could I be so cruel? What a bad joke. But it wasn't a joke. In an ocean of coldness and aloofness within the royal family, Diana was an island of warmth, not only for her sons William and Harry, but for the millions of people that saw her as a beacon of inspiration and aspiration. She was celebrated for her charity work, embraced by the world for her affection, her empathy, and for those that were ill or disadvantaged. Diana has been gone for 20 years, but for many of us, the memory of what we were doing, where we were when we heard the news, is just as vivid today as it was back then. It's as if she left us yesterday. At 36 years old, she left us way too soon. Lady Diana Spencer will forever be in our hearts. In the past 12 years, I can honestly say that one of my greatest pleasures has been my association with people like yourself. During those years, I've met many thousands of wonderful and extraordinary people, both here and around the world. But I was not aware of how overwhelming that attention would become, nor the extent to which it would affect both my public duties and my personal life in a manner that's been hard to bear. My first priority will continue to be our children, William and Harry, who deserve as much love and care and attention as I am able to give. I hope you can find it in your hearts to understand and to give me the time and space that has been lacking in recent years. And for that, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Here at Sky Centre, confirmation that Diana, Princess of Wales, has in fact been killed in that car accident. I stand before you today, the representative of a family in grief. Diana was the very essence of compassion of duty, of style, of beauty. All over the world, she was a symbol of selfless humanity. Today is our chance to say thank you for the way you brightened our lives, even though God granted you but half a life. We will all feel cheated, always, that you were taken from us so young. And yet we must learn to be grateful that you came along at all. Only now you are gone do we truly appreciate what we are now without. And we want you to know that life without you is very, very difficult. It is a point to remember that of all the ironies about Diana, perhaps the greatest was this. A girl given the name of the ancient goddess of hunting was, in the end, the most hunted person of the modern age. Above all, we give thanks for the life of a woman. I'm so proud to be able to call my sister. The unique, the complex, the extraordinary and irreplaceable Diana, whose beauty, both internal and external, will never be extinguished from our minds. Goodbye, Adam's Rose. May you ever grow you are the grace that placed yourselves where lives were torn apart. You 
called out to our country And you whispered to those in pain Now you belong to heaven And the stars spell out your name And it seems to me You lived your life like a candle in the wind Never fading with the sunset When the rain set in And your footsteps will always fall here Along England's greenest hills Your candles burned out long before Your legend ever will Loveliness we've lost Those empty days Without your smile This torch we'll always carry For our nation's golden child Even though we try The truth brings us to tears All our words cannot express The joy you've brought us Through the years And it seems to me You've lived your life Like a candle in the wind Never fading with the sunset When the rain set in And your footsteps will always fall here Along England's greenest hills Your candles burned out long before Your legend Never will Goodbye, England's rose May you ever grow in our hearts You were the grace that placed yourselves Where lives were torn apart Goodbye, this road from a country lost without your soul. Who miss the wings of your compassion more than you will ever know? And it seems to me you've lived your life like a candle in the wind, never fading with the sunset when the rain set in. Your footsteps will always fall here Along England's greenest hills Your candles burned out long before Your legend ever will Elton John performed that song live at uh, the funeral of Diana, Princess of Wales. An estimated 2.5 billion people around the world watched Elton play that special tribute to Diana and the track went on to become the biggest selling single of all time. Diana will always be the people's princess.